Hey, today we're out here working on a commercial job, uh, just doing the prep work. And I want to talk about something and show you a video of what happened. We had a disaster out here. Disasters do occasionally strike. And we're going to show you how we handled it and stuff. So we spilled a gallon of paint right out here, white paint on a black parking lot. And, you know, I'm going to kind of walk you through, you know, what we did to resolve this situation. You can watch the live video because we were filming out here and we didn't stop filming. We just shot what we are doing to try to resolve the situation. And don't panic. Anything can be fixed. Pretty much anything can be fixed. But I'm going to show you, you know, some of life's, um, ups and downs when it comes to uh, painting and stuff. So uh, it was a gallon of primer spilt right on the parking lot. We just went through the process of gathering that paint up, not trying to smear it around, not getting a hose, washing it all over the place, gathered it up on cardboard the best we could, and then started cleaning it up with rags and stuff, and then water and sponges. So you're gonna see this um, throughout the video right now. So check this out, a disaster. A disaster or a disaster on the commercial job out here with the Paint Life crew. So you can see at this point in time, we've got a spill here. And one of the things I did is to just gather up the paint, as much of the paint that I could. And, you know, just to save time, I'm not searching for any gloves. I'm not, I'm just using my bare hands. I've got a cardboard that was um, just at the job site. And I grabbed that cardboard to help contain it. And what's interesting here is, you know, this is all still usable paint that you can still use, but this is a gallon of primer that was spilt. And, and if you can just gather up as much as you can by cupping your hands, just cup it, scoop it, and put it right back in this bucket. The big keys is to, you know, not panic and, and just, you know, work quickly, but don't panic. And any type of panic, if there's, you know, customers around, what they're going to do is they're going to sense that, see that, and then they're going to begin to panic. But if you just keep calm, just working it, cleaning up the mess as quickly and as efficiently as you can. So I've contained it on this cardboard. I've got some on the cardboard. I've scooped up as much excess as I could, put it inside my cut-in bucket. Now I'm going to begin using wet rags to begin wiping it up. One thing you don't want to do is panic, grab a hose and start ho using a hose to, to clean up this mess because you'll just end up dispersing the product in a larger path. And you know, there was a storm drain right by here within probably 10 feet and we don't want this paint to go down the storm drain because this storm drain could be connected to the Boise River and and you could just be adding contaminants to places you don't want it to go. And it did end up leaving a big wider swath of paint you know on this parking lot right here. So now just working quickly and efficiently I'm using cool water to start to wipe up this primer. But once again, you know, one of the keys is, you know, when you're, you've got a spill or a paint disaster is to, you know, not panic, to, you know, stop. You don't want to stop too long, but just stop. You know, think about what you're doing. Think about, you know, not creating, you know, worse of a disaster and how you're going to go about cleaning this up. You know, I've said it before and you know one of the big differences between a journeyman painter and a, an apprentice is a journeyman painter just knows how to fix all of their mistakes. So I just so happened to have a bunch of rags. These are all just rags that you know, I had in my vehicle that I'm just using clean water. We had, you know, a water faucet nearby. And this is one of the, you know, when you're starting to paint on any job, I, what I typically do is I start by filling up three buckets of water on a job site and having that water available, you know, for a disaster is one of the reasons why we, 
you know, have buckets filled up before we even start painting. But you can see this is a white primer on black asphalt and if you just keep, you know, working, you, you can get this up. And the thing is, is to continue to use clean rags. So I'm gonna take my rags, clean them, get the paint up, rinse them in water, and continue to use clean rags. And another thing, another tool you, know, you always want to have available as a painter is a wire brush. And we use these wire brushes to clean our brushes with, paint brushes. And this wire brush will help agitate our paint, get it up out of the surface. And you can see I'm just agitating it, lifting it up. And now just rinse my rags, get clean rags, and begin uh, lifting up the paint again. tell you a story. We were on a job once and we had a big 60 foot lift, you know, boom, we're driving around and the delivery guy delivered our paint and we had a bunch of fives, a bunch of singles, probably like 15 sitting down on the ground and one of the guys was driving the lift and he didn't see all the paint on the ground and he ran over the the buckets of paint and like some of them he went directly over them and they exploded like a bomb and the the building we were painting it was like a commercial building and one of one of them exploded and just shot we just got done painting the side of the building and it freaking blew paint everywhere we were like looking around going what in the hell happened wow. it was freaking crazy uh, well, he knew, like, after, like, he heard kaboom, and all of a sudden, paint was flying everywhere, and he didn't realize what had happened, and, um, until, you know, and we didn't, I came running around the corner, people were yelling, and I come around the corner, and I was just like, holy, what happened? And I was trying to figure it out, I couldn't even figure it out. And then I look at the lift and underneath the lift is all the paint and he ran over all the paint. And he just dumped dirt in the cracks and you won't even see it. But see, my initial reaction was grab a water hose, but then you're gonna take and make this swath of white going that direction and you'll have to clean it all that whole direction and then it's gonna go into the sewer and and that one be good but then it's like okay if I just scoop it up I can still reuse it yeah. and and I was like okay I'll be able to just repaint the tar like right here I'll just go get some tar but now it's like yeah. coming off So what's interesting here now is, you know, I've got, you know, white paint and I just went over to the planter, got some dirt just to mix it in, rub it in to help, um, you know, basically, you know, make it look, you know, like the parking lot was, you know, instead of having a big clean spot now, you know, uh, it would be more noticeable. So now I'm just kind of rubbing the dirt in with the white paint and you can see how it kind of makes it go away and disappear a little bit more. Wire brushes. Well, the whole thing, it's like I always tell people, it's like, you don't panic, you know? And I started like getting a little nervous because they're you know, the owner of the building standing there and his son standing there. I'm like, oh my God, usually I don't have a crowd. And I was like, well, this is about the worst case scenario, you know, primer on black asphalt, you know, that's going to dry fast. But we've done it on black roofs before, so it's been worse. But it's fixed. So I'll show you, this is um, the spot where we actually 
you know, had our little disaster the day before and it's all dried up now. And you know, there's some dirt down there cause I kind of just rubbed some dirt around in it to you know, help dry up the paint. But the spot is all gone once it rains or we get a hose out here, rinse it up. Uh, you'll never even know that it's gone. There's a little bit of white in some of these cracks that I'll take and wire brush out, but you know, the disaster is cleaned up and resolved. And you know, it's, once again, it's one of those things, don't panic, um, just calmly go about your business, taking care of what you need to do. And that's one of the big differences between your know, apprentices and journeyman painters is journeyman painters, you know, have had a lot of these experiences, know how to resolve and clean up, you know, just about any disaster there is. So uh, this was a matter of just, you know, getting the paint up, collecting it up, and we were actually still able to use it. It was a primer, gathered it up, put it back into a bucket. We didn't try to smear it around, didn't try to spray it um, down with water, which would have just left, you know, a big swath of white going down into the drain, then paint would have went into the drain. We captured it, didn't allow it to go into the drain. So the biggest thing that, you know, if I can, you know, give you the biggest advice through this whole thing is just don't panic, sit back, um, not necessarily relax and take your time, but just calmly, you know, take care of the mistake. And if you panic, all it's gonna do is draw attention to the situation, draw the customer out, then they're gonna panic themselves. If you take care of it, like you know what you're doing, then nobody else is gonna panic. So it's resolved. If you got any tips or tricks, how to resolve a spill, how to resolve a disaster, give it down in the comment section below. I did post a, a picture on Facebook of me cleaning up this mess. Got all kinds of people saying they've gone through the same exact thing and you know what, life happens. So um, got some tips and tricks from other people out there how to resolve disasters and it helps us all out. So thank you. If you've enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. If you wanna see more disasters, let us know down below because believe me i've had my fair share of disasters out there and i can talk about them in future videos we'll see you on our next video out